What's up, everybody? Celtic Scarecrow here, back with our video with those 10s and 20 views. Today, we are continuing on with the way too effing early NFL season predictions. I did the A NFC South, I did the AFC South. So now we're going to move, keep moving around that compass. We're doing the AFC West. As you see, I got all the logos up here, and the only one that I really think is better than their current logo is uh, Denver. That's more or less the same. I just added gold trim, which I do like that. I do think adding the gold to the handles and the outline definitely makes things better. And Kansas City, yeah, there's not much I can do with that. So the way this works is, if you haven't seen the other three videos that I did of this series, I'm going to go through their entire schedule and say, okay, best case scenario, this is the amount of wins they would get. Go all the way back to the top of the schedule and then point out like what I think the worst case scenario for that team. And that would be the end of it. And then I'll pop back to this screen here, which will have like their records right here. And then I'll give you my honest opinion on what I think will happen. And then I move on to you know, the next team in line next, and four on four more. Pretty straightforward. This is also completely based off my own stupidity. So, take that with a grain of salt. We are starting with the Kansas. That's the second time. Like, I messed up and had the wrong team up here. And I was going through it. And I'm like, damn. Second time I clicked it. But sorry, starting off, best case scenario for the Kansas City Chiefs. All their players stop being stupid. All of them. Even if you agree with what the printer said. It's still distracting. All of them stop being stupid, and they just purely focus on football. That's their best case scenario. In that case scenario, they start off the season with a win against the Ravens. Wow, this is a tough one-two season. So you start, then go play. They're at both at home. Then you play the Bengals. Best case scenario, that is a win. You can book your flight for this game to Atlanta, which I wouldn't even bother going because that will be a blowout in any case scenario. There is a nice win. Week four, week yeah, week week four against the Chargers. Best case scenario, yeah, that's a win there. Beat the Saints that in a really early bye week. That's a tough one. Best case scenario, yeah, you're beating the Niners, and that's kind of hard to say because I. That's probably going to be their toughest matchup on the schedule. This could be a perfect season, to be perfectly honest. You will easily sweep your division in a best-case scenario. Beat Tampa Bay. Beat the Broncos. Beat the Bills. You beat the Panthers. I, sorry, my Panthers need to prove something. Beat the Raiders. Beat the Chargers. Beat the Browns. And go beat Houston. And then... Beat the Steelers. 18 week schedule. Yeah, you'll go 18 and 0. Perfect season into the playoffs. That schedule on a best case scenario is really manageable. As like I'm scrolling back up, Houston will be a test, but you have it at home. Uh, I'm trying to see the other tough game. Buffalo, we don't know. And our at home Casey's at home. This is the hardest game on the schedule. Right there. The Niners in Frisco. Everything else is extremely manageable. You have it at home. Now we move over to the worst case scenario. This is people keep being stupid. Right, players get arrested. The punter gets canceled for cancel culture's sake, which is stupid. And Tra uh, Travis Kelsey knocks up Taylor Swift and has to retire from football to take care of her kid because she's the bigger star. <laughs> that is worst case scenario I've seen. So worst case scenario, you lose to the Ravens. That team looks to be really good, and yeah, and then you lose to the Bengals. A healthy Joe Burrow's is going to be tough to beat, regardless. You still beat Atlanta. I'm sorry. <laughs> All that saying, you'll beat Atlanta. I have zero faith in that team. I wouldn't be shocked if they go 0 and 16, or 0 and 17. You lose to the Chargers. Because, no, you probably split with the Chargers, so this is the one there. So, yeah, you lose to the Chargers. Beat New Orleans. I, I, I'm i not a big fan of what New Orleans has, what they got. You lose to the Niners. 
you probably split with the Raiders, so that's a loss because at because of that right there. Um, yeah, I'd lose to the Bucks. Or, say scenario, the Bucks were not a fluke and they got better. Uh, beat Denver. Like I said, you'll split all the home games, the, the division. Buffalo actually somehow got to figure it out, and you lose there. You beat Carolina. That's it. From a Panthers fan, I just think even in the worst-case scenario, we're not there yet unless we are rolling hard into this game. Yeah, I think that's lost. Now you beat the Raiders because this is the, the home game. You beat the Chargers because that's the other half, the home and home. Browns, I'll give you the win at the Browns, but you lose to Houston. You, no, you, you lose to the Steelers. They actually somehow got stuff figured out, and then you lose to the Broncos. So I have you at, if my math was right, that would be like 7 and 10 in the worst case scenario. If I somehow, I'm counting via my fingers, would be my uh, worst case scenario, which I got to write them down because I will forget. Uh, 7 and 10. Yeah, that would be a very disheartening season at 7 and 10. But realistically, I have you guys just based off what this schedule says, probably closer to during that 10 to 13 win ratio. The Ravens, Baltimore, those would be two tough games. You played the Niners at San Francisco, that would be tough. The Bucks could be better. The Bills, who knows, it's at Buffalo. So, yeah, this is not the easiest schedule, but, yeah, I still see you guys somewhere in the 12 to 13 win range. Moving on to the Las Vegas Raiders, which i got to move the logo because it's really on top of my head. Raiders, so uh, best case scenario, um, I don't know what your best case scenario really is. I don't get your draft. I don't know who who is your potential starting quarterback. That is the real question. Uh, we'll go back to this, so it's not just really confusing to everybody. Uh, team, new tab, what's all that? Roster. I just want to know who. By position. Center. Who is your quarterback? And don't like. Oh dear God. I have. Z oh, you have Garner Minshew. I guess he's your starter. Like, you guys did not draft the quarterback? What's wrong with you guys? Uh, best case scenario is Garner Minshew is somehow. No, we're going to have a defined career season. That's the best I got for you. I don't get why in a quarterback deep class you didn't draft a quarterback. With all the quarterbacks on the market, you didn't go after a quarterback. So, yeah. All right, best case scenario. Here we go. Uh, you beat the Chargers. Yeah, I'm going to say that you're going to beat the Chargers in the best case scenario Uh Due to the fact that, you know, um, they didn't have their things figured out. It's week one. They were still struggling. You you beat the Chargers. You lose to Baltimore. Baltimore on the road, yet yeah, you lose. Best case scenario, you probably beat the Panthers. Uh, bad offense line issues didn't get healthy. Brian Burris is a massive loss, and we don't didn't know what we were doing yet. So, you beat us. Best case scenario, you beat the Browns. I'll give you that one. Um, you best case scenario, you s probably split with the Broncos, to be all honestly, in a best case scenario. Same with uh, the Chargers. So this one's at the Broncos, so you lose this one. Best case scenario, the Steelers don't know what they were doing, and you squeak out of win there. Lose the Rams. I really like the Rams. Didn't lose too much. I know Aaron Donald, but... The rest of the team offense was still there. You lose to Casey. I don't care. Best case scenario, you're not being Patrick Holmes. An average Patrick Holmes and Kansas City Chief team. Um, 
Lose to the Bengals. Sorry. I, I'm being honest here in the best case scenario. Lose to the Dolphins. Beat the Broncos. Uh, you lose to KC. You beat the Bucks. The Bucks weren't who they thought they were. You beat the Falcons. You beat the Jaguars. There you go. Here's a little nice one. Beat the Saints. And you end out the season by beating the Chargers, which would give you somehow, I think, 10 wins, if I did the math right. 10-7 will be a great season for them going forward without a real quarterback. I'm just saying, now over to the worst case scenario. And I hate to say this, but this is probably just the more likely scenario. Like, Jordan Minshew has been good, not great, everywhere. I never even heard of the other two quarterbacks. So, worst case scenario, this is going to be painful. You lose to the Chargers. I, I, I like uh, everything that that team has. I, you're going to see shortly. Lose to the Ravens. I had you at barely beating the Panthers in the best case scenario. You're losing there. Lose to the Browns. Lose to Denver. Lose to the Steelers. This is going to sound very simple. Lose to the Rams. Lose to KC. Lose to the Bengals. Come on, Mouse. Lose. 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 Win. I beat, you got beaten the Falcons. The only team that looks more dysfunctional than you do right now. Lose. 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 So, worst case scenario, you are 1-16. and 16. That's because I don't know anything about your team. Your defense did not look great last year from what I remembered. And you have no real quarterback. And you drafted a second tight end who is exactly like the last tight end you had. So in a realistic standpoint, you are probably looking at looking at this schedule. One, two, three Four, five-ish, six games, which would be competitive that you have a chance of winning. So let's put that at four and seven is your window, in my opinion. All right, moving on to the moving on to the next team, which is the San Diego Chargers. I'm sorry, the Los Angeles Chargers, because the city of San Diego who owned the stadium decided that the renovations that were needed weren't worth the money. So the owner just said, fine, I'm out because you own the city and you don't want to pay for it. Sounds familiar, doesn't it, Carolina? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Carolina. Either sell the man the stadium or quit bitching when he says, hey, you should pay, I'll pay for it. But anyway, best case scenario for the Chargers, Harbaugh comes in and just sets the standard. Justin Herbert looks like the quarterback that I think he can be and hope he is. I want him to fall to Carolina. And I think that would have solved way more problems right then and there, but he did it. So best case scenario, Herbert looks like the guy who we all think he is, and Harbaugh is a great coach and really fixes his team, which means, unlike the other teams, you're going to hear this word a lot more. You beat the Raiders. You beat the Panthers. And while you're there, you tell the city, you know what, maybe you should pay this, pay for the stadium so you, know, you don't lose the franchise. I did a whole video on... Uh, why is that... I did a whole video about where the Carolina Panthers could move, and most of the options are still in the Carolinas. All right. A few inches later. Oh, <laughs> I was just get my hand back behind the bar. Uh, yeah, so you beat Carolina. You beat the Steelers. You probably, best case scenario, split with Kansas City. So, and this one's at KC, so there's a win there. By you Sweep the Broncos, so nice win there. Moving you up to one, two, three, five. Five and zero. Oh. The bye weeks just threw me off that early. That's a bad bye week, by the way. Week, week five. Ooh. Uh, 
beat the Cardinals, beat the Saints, beat the Browns, beat the Titans. Joe Burrow is not healthy. You beat them. We should put you at 10 wins. If I did the math correctly, you already did. Lose to the Ravens. Yeah, I'm sorry. I like the Ravens a little better than that team. But then you beat the Falcons. You beat the Falcons. Uh, beat the Falcons. You lose to Casey. It's, like I said, you're split with them. That's the home game. You beat the Bucks. Come on, Mouse. Cooperate. Beat the Broncos. Beat New England. And then you beat the Raiders. That is a favorable. Very favorable favorable back half of the schedule. Like, one of the worst teams I have in football, one of the worst teams I have in football, the Broncos at home, so even if they have stuff figured out, it's in San Diego. Tampa Bay, who is a mystery on if they're going to be good. It's like, here's your tough little stretch. But, yeah. So, back to the top of the schedule. In a worst-case scenario, Harbaugh needs maybe a year who fully get a thing over. Herbert is just mid. It is a plausibility. He is just a mid quarterback. Just like I am a subpar YouTuber. The scri subscriber can make me feel that way. Um, yeah, so in a worst case scenario, you probably split with the Raiders. I know. In a worst case scenario, you somehow split with the Raiders, so, but you're playing on week one at home, so that's a win. Worst case scenario, you lose to the Panthers. We have our things together, and we look like we actually are a competent team. And same thing said about the Steelers. So, yeah, there's a lost error. You know, Mike Thomas not letting the team not get under 500. You get swept by the Chiefs. This is at Denver. You probably split with them, but, you know, this is at Denver. You beat Arizona. I think they'll be one of the worst teams of this year. You lose to New Orleans. This mouse is not cooperating. You lose to the Browns. You lose to Tennessee. Tennessee has things figured out. Lose to the Bengals. Lose to the Ravens. Beat the Falcons. Lose... To monster roll. Lose to KC, lose to Tampa Bay. Beat Denver because that's a home game. Beat New England because I don't think New England's going to be that competent. And then you t and you lose there. So I think that if my math is correct, you went 5 and 11, which. 5 and 11. Uh, I don't think you go 5 and 11. I Just based off this schedule, like. The Raiders, I think, are going to be the worst team. New England, I think, is going to be god-awful. Broncos, I think, are like a few steps behind you, so you probably could sweep both of them. The you got the Falcons, Titans, Arizona, Panthers, Steelers. So those are all very winnable games. i probably put your base somewhere around like 8 to 11 wins, being realistic. So I didn't write down either one of the things. So, moving on to the very last team, Mr. Brendan Pernas' team, the Denver Broncos. Yeah, I actually edited out all the other times I had to go get the logo. But the Broncos are right there up front, so I didn't do that. All right, best case scenario is Bo Nix is the man. He spent all those years in college perfecting his craft. He's coming in, looking like a guy who's going in and is like fighting for his third con second contract. He's like a year three bet. So that's the Bo Nix. That defense figured out everything. There's no drama. That case scenario, best case scenario, you beat the Seahawks. Uh, it's another team who I think they just got Sam Howe as their quarterback. So it might take them a bit to figure that out. You beat the Steelers. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, best case scenario, you'll beat Tampa. That that'll be fair. In the best case scenario, you beat Tampa. Aaron Rodgers is just being a drama queen. You beat the Jets. You beat the Bronco. You beat the Raiders. Best case scenario, you probably split with the Chargers. To be all honest, 
since it's the home game, you get that win. Beat New Orleans. Beat Carolina. Lose to the Ravens. Yeah, you're going to Baltimore. That's a loss. Best case scenario, you split with KC. So this one's at KC, so that's a loss. Beat the Falcons. Beat the Raiders. Beat the Browns. Beat the Colts. That says lose here because you're playing them at there. Lose to the Bengals, and then you end the season with beating Kansas City. So if my math is correct, which I probably don't think, you guys have went 13 and 5. That would definitely be a playoff team. Very plausibly winning your division. Now, in the worst case scenario, is Bo Nix, regardless of all those years, looks like every other rookie quarterback. And that team is still, you know, a couple years away from being, you know, good. So, in that case scenario, you lose to the Seahawks. Like, I do like Sam Howell. I think that's a good fit for him. I think he has a big enough arm for that team. You lose to the Steelers. You lose to the Bucks. Aaron Rodgers... Actually, it's a football season, so he's just playing football. Even in the worst case scenario, you split with the Raiders, so I give you there a win. Lose to the Chargers. Scroll. Lose to the Saints. Lose to the Panthers. I, I, I'm higher on the Panthers than a lot of people are. I think the first couple games, if Bryce Young's staying upright and he's making decent passes, will show everybody exactly where. Lose to the Ravens. Lose to Kansas City. Beat the Falcons. Lose the Raiders. Lose the Browns. That is a great bye week. Week 14. Lose the Colts. Lose there. Wow. So in a worst case scenario. Oh, lose the Bengals. Lose the Chiefs. In the worst case scenario, you are 2 and 15. Or 2 and, yeah, 2 and 15. Means you went 13 and 4. 2 and 15. Yeah, you'll probably get a top draft pick, and you'll go get, you know, a lineman, a weapon, something to give out there. Realistically, looking at your schedule, there are a lot of tough games. Like, that last, after the bye, the Colts, winnable. But that's Chargers, Bengals, KC, you know, that is a kind of tough gauntlet. But you do have the Falcons, the Panthers... Uh, this, yeah, so there is a very well game. I'll probably put your ceiling somewhere between you know seven and nine wins, to be more realistic. Which means the team that gets the crown, the team that wins the division, in my opinion, is Kansas City. How'd you not see that one coming? I think that Casey didn't really lose too much as long as their players show up and play football, and you got Andy Reid a healthy Patrick Holmes, and a healthy offense line, you're probably going to win more games than the Raiders. The Chargers could be a sleeper this team. I think they have a lot of pieces with the right coach now. Now, maybe they figure it all out. And then the last one, the Broncos. Even in a best-case scenario, I think they're probably a year or two out from being highly competitive, which, to be all honest, is Perfect. Because, um, crap, uh, he's going to need a contract soon. They're starting to get old, injured, and crazy, and they're the Raiders. So, Herbert. Herbert needs to probably come up to a new contract soon, if he didn't re-sign recently. Don't know what they're doing for quarterback, and they're starting to get to that point where it's like you see a lot of dynasties either... Figure out that they need to regrip and reload quickly, or they're gonna fall off radar. But that's it. That's all I have. I'll see you weird people later.